Good morning. How is everybody today? It's Wednesday. Hope you're having a good day. Let's start with our Bible class today. Let's start with the word of prayer, okay? Father, thank you for your goodness. Thank you for each one in our school. Thank you for our moms and dads who are helping out with our school this year. Please help the kids to listen to them, listen to their videos, help them to obey and work hard. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let's start with our verse. Hope you're working on it a little bit every day and you'll have it learned by the end of the week. Okay, here we go. Colossians 4, 5. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Two more times, so let's say it out loud with me, please. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. One more time, please. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Okay, let's sing our song. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without. Redeeming the time, redeeming the time. For God calls us to walk in his wisdom. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without. Redeeming the time, redeeming the time. For God calls us to walk in his wisdom. Okay, today we're going to be talking about being a wise scholar. That's what our theme is for, for the school is walk in wisdom. And our theme for this whole year in first grade is being a wise scholar. Okay, so let's start out. First, wisdom. Do you remember what wisdom is? Wisdom is knowing what is true, knowing what is right, and then taking those th th that knowledge, those things that you know, to make the right decision. Okay? Know what is true, know what is right, and then make a good decision about what to do. Okay, that's, that's wisdom, being wise. Now, we want to be wise scholar. Okay, there's the word scholar. It's spelled kind of funny in English. And it's, it's the word school. It starts out like the word school. And a scholar is somebody who goes to school. But a scholar, just because you don't, just because you go to school does not mean that you're a scholar. A scholar is somebody who studies really, really hard to learn a lot of things and get really, really smart. Somebody who studies really, really hard to get really, really smart. So if you are lazy, are you being a scholar? No. The word you would use in Spanish would be alumno or estudiante. But just because you have your bunkie on a chair, or if you have a desk, or whatever, you're sitting at the table with your book, your folder, that doesn't make you a scholar. A scholar means you have to turn on your brain and work really, really hard. Really, really hard. But I don't want to. I'm just a kid. Yes, you're just a kid. But... Your mommy and daddy go to school, go to work every day. They have their job. They're, whatever they do, they might, I don't know what your daddy does, what your mama does, but they go to work. They, or your mama might stay home and take care of the children, but that's a big, big job. That's a very big job. That's her job. What is your job? You have a job too. Now you do little things around the house to help your mom. Maybe you wash dishes. You should make your bed, I hope. Fix it in the morning, make it nice and neat. Maybe you sweep. That's good things to help. But you have a job just like your mommy and daddy do. And that job is to go to school and learn. So that when you grow up, you will be able to get a good job. And you will be able to have children and take care of your children. And then when your mommy and daddy are very, very old, 
then you can help take care of them too, just the same way that they took care of you when you were very, very small. Okay, But that's your job. Every day you go to your job. So when we're in school, we all wear our uniforms, don't we? Maybe your mommy or daddy has a uniform that they wear. Some places have uniforms. Some places don't. But that's okay. At Ropa Solida, we have a blue shirt that we wear to help us remember that we are students, we are scholars, and that's our job. So what do you need to do? You need to start your day. Okay, I'm going to work today. So you get your place wherever you work. If you have work at the table, that's a good place to work at the table. Clear it off, all the junk off, all the things that would distract you, the toys or whatever, pictures, anything that would distract you, no television, no radio, quiet. Okay, so you get it, everything ready. You get your folder and all your papers. You get your pencil box. Everything ready to go. Go to the bathroom so you're ready to start. And then you can begin. But to start out, you get everything ready first. Okay, so you're going to be a scholar. Now, why? Why do you need to be a student? Well, I have a question for you. Who was your very first teacher? Do you remember? Do you remember your first teacher? You might say, Miss Susan or Miss Lily. Nope. Nope, Miss Susan and Miss Lily were not your first teachers. Your mommy, your daddy, maybe your tia, your abuelita. Some big person, whoever the big person is in your life, the big people, they're your, they're your Teachers, they, te they taught you how to walk, how to talk, how to eat, how to use the bathroom. Nobody wears pampers, right? No. They taught you how to use the bathroom. All those things, they taught you lots of things. And the first lesson in being a good student is obeying. Do what you're told with a happy heart. Obedience. If you don't obey your mommy, are you going to learn? No. If you don't obey your teachers, are you going to learn? No. The first lesson to be a good scholar, a good student, is to obey. Obey. Do exactly what you're told. You need to learn to obey. So your mommy, your daddy, whoever the big people are, they're your first teachers. When I went to school, when I, before I even went to school, I can remember when I was four years old, didn't go to school. I already knew all my ABCs. I knew my ABCs. I could count. I could count by two, four, six, eight, ten. I could count by five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. I could count ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred. I could count ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. How did I know all those things? I didn't even go to school. Because I had three big sisters, and they would play, and they would count five, ten, or they would count ten, nine, eight, seven, six, and we would do things like that when we played. We, I sang songs in Sunday school. I sang A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all have sinned, and that means me. I learned that in Sunday school. We had a song to count. One, two, three, the devil's after me. Four, five, six, he's always playing tricks. Seven, eight, nine, he misses lots of times. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Nine, eight, seven, I'm on my way to heaven. Six, five, four, to live forevermore. Three, two, one, because of God's own son. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. I learned that before I even went to school. I learned it in Sunday school. Or remember in kinder we learned one little, two little, three little Indians, four little, five little, six little Indians, seven little, eight little, nine little Indians, ten little Indian boys, ten little, nine little, eight little Indians, seven little, six little, five little Indians, four little, three little, two little Indians, one little Indian boy. Remember we learned that, Karen? I learned that before I even went to school. I learned lots of things because I had three sisters. Now, we, I didn't go to school. 
and they didn't sit me down and teach me. We just played. We learned that in our playtime. So I had lots of teachers. I have three boys. I told you I have three boys, and my boys did not go to school at all. Not till they went to the university. They had school at home, just like you do. Okay, just like you do every day when it was time for school to start. We all got together and we started school. We start with our Bible lesson. But that's they never went. To, they didn't get to go to school like you did with a nice desk or table. Those things mm -mm, they didn't do it. They had it at home and they learned lots. So, but what we want to do this year, we want you to be good students. We're going to teach you how to be a good scholar, how to learn lots of things. But what do you need to do? You need to turn on your ears. Turn on your brain and obey. And when, when Miss Susan or Miss Lily says, repeat after me or say it with me, what do you do? You say it together. When we say stand up, you stand up. When we say sit down, sit down. Right? Sure. Okay? There are lots of things, but you need to learn to obey. When your mama says sit there and do your schoolwork, then you sit there and do your schoolwork. If your mama says don't play, if your mama says pay attention, you do those things so that you will learn. If you don't pay attention, if you don't think hard, you will not learn. Our, our goal for this year is to be a wise student to learn how to walk in wisdom so that when you're all grown up, you can get a very good job and have money to do whatever you want to do. Buy a car, have a nice house, take care of your children. Whatever it is that you want to do, you'll be able to do that if you work hard and get a good job. Let's finish up with our verse three times, and then we'll sing our song, okay? Walk in with... Oh, no, let's say the verse first, okay? Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Two more times, please say it with me. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. One more time. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time, redeeming the time. For God calls us to walk in his wisdom. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without, walk in wisdom toward them that are without, redeeming the time, redeeming the time. For God calls us to walk in his wisdom. See you later.